Good morning, students. Myself Ajay Mishra, sir. This is class four science period. As I told, I sent some videos, clip regarding chapter nine, animals and their young ones. So please watch this video carefully and try to understand. Okay. They are some of the most magical insects you can see in the environment. Their wings look like beautiful artworks. And they come in all the colors of the rainbow. But did you know that the beautiful butterflies you see actually used to be caterpillars? Now you might be wondering, how did they change from a tiny, wriggly, worm-looking insect to a stunning butterfly? Well, you're about to find out. The life cycle of a butterfly has four stages. It all begins when a female butterfly lays her eggs. Inside these eggs, caterpillars begin to grow. Once an egg is ready, it hatches and out comes a larva also known as a caterpillar. The caterpillar leaves its egg behind, finds a leaf, and starts eating, and eating, and eating. You might have seen a caterpillar in a garden munching away. As a caterpillar grows, its skin becomes too tight for its growing body. The caterpillar sheds this old skin because underneath there is a new, bigger skin, which is much more comfortable. This process of shedding skin is called molting. Now it's time for the caterpillar to begin changing into a pupa. The pupa stage is pretty uneventful because all they really do is hang upside down in a cocoon. A cocoon is also called a chrysalis. The pupa needs to stay really still, so predators don't spot it wriggling around and eat it for dinner. This is the stage where the caterpillar begins to grow its wings. The last stage is when the adult butterfly breaks free it slowly comes out of its cocoon and spreads its beautiful wings, getting ready to take flight. Once it's ready, it will fly off and eventually lay its own eggs, starting the cycle all over again. As you can see, the caterpillar goes through a number of changes before it reaches the final stage of being a butterfly. This spectacular physical transformation is called metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is said to have occurred when an animal transforms from its young form into its adult form. It may seem like something simple, but it took a lot for it to get there. Let's follow the life cycle of a frog from egg to adult. Frogs typically lay their jelly-like eggs somewhere wet, often in the water. Two to three weeks after being laid, these frog eggs are ready to hatch into tadpoles. Freshly hatched tadpoles will eat what remains of their eggs. The nutritious yolk is full of protein that will help fuel their rapid growth. Don't be fooled, those aren't hands. These tadpoles hatched with external gills. Since tadpoles do not have lungs yet, they need a way to get oxygen from the water in which they live. And they do that with a set of gills. As the tadpoles grow, these gills are quickly covered by a flap of skin. But they won't disappear entirely until the frog is nearly full grown. Unlike adult frogs, Tadpoles cannot go on land, and have long tails they use for swimming. In addition, tadpoles are herbivores. 
for the first six weeks of their lives, they will eat almost exclusively plants. Small tadpoles will eat soft plant material like algae, moss, and duckweed. They have long intestines, well suited to digesting plants. As they grow, their intestines will shorten and they will begin to hunt insects. Between six and nine weeks after hatching, the back legs will appear. These tiny legs are extremely fragile and are not yet ready to be used. Other changes are taking place too. The tadpole's body is getting longer and its head is becoming more distinct. The front legs grow inside the tadpole's body, visibly wiggling beneath the tadpole's skin before they eventually emerge. Now it looks almost like a tiny frog with a tail. At this stage, a tadpole is sometimes called a froglet. In the final phase of metamorphosis, many different changes will take place. The froglet's mouth will change from the fish-like mouth of a tadpole to the wide jaws of a frog, complete with a long, sticky tongue. Its intestines will shorten and change as the froglet switches from a plant-based diet to a carnivorous one, and it will begin to eat insects and other invertebrates. The tail shrinks and disappears as it is absorbed back into the body. Finally, the gills stop working as the lungs take over and the tiny frog emerges from the water only about three or four months after hatching. I hope you enjoyed watching a tadpole tree. Life cycle of a cockroach. Cockroaches are creepy creatures, aren't they? They often live in cracks and crevices so small that we can easily overlook them. Have you ever seen eggs of cockroaches? Cockroach eggs are found inside dark brown rectangular little egg cases. Look for them in dark corners or crevices of old or unclean furniture. Carefully remove a few of these egg cases and collect them in a bottle. A typical egg case contains about 14 to 16 eggs. Tie a piece of cloth over the mouth of the bottle. Watch these eggs every day. After a few days, tiny white cockroaches emerge out of the eggs. These are called nymphs. The nymphs shed their skin several times before becoming adult cockroaches. Adult cockroaches have well-developed wings to fly. The life cycle from egg to adult averages about 600 days, while the adult lifespan may be another 400 days. Thus, the life cycle of a cockroach has three stages eggs, nymph and adult. Goodbye till next time.